Saints, today you have all gathered here to be a part of this English medium Samagam. where a strong message is being given by the youth of the mission who are taking keen interest in spreading the message of this tr truth, love and humanity. It's been quite a while since such a samagam could be organized here in Delhi. I think probably it, it must have been around after 14 or 15 years when an English medium samagam is being organized here and such a effective participation, the message being given so effectively, so forceful. The youth in various forms, whether it was a poem or a song or a chorus or a mime or a skit, the whole program and the, this evening was so mesmerizing that I was just thinking that here in this hall itself on September 1st or 2nd, 2012, when we replicated NIS, the first NIS held in Birmingham, UK. So today's evening was giving such a feel like we had then. Also, since the second NIS has already been announced, so today you are getting a spark or a flash of it. <laughs> the enthusiasm which is everywhere to be seen, to be a part of that Samagam. Recent visit, my recent visit to North America and Europe and also my visit to Australia and New Zealand in February, in January. The youth over there are also making efforts to be an active member of the mission by participating in various activities, by spreading this message, by participating in various social activities. And indeed, that is very encouraging because the composition of the mission, when we define it age-wise, the segments we have who are the members of the mission. So majority of the members of the mission are in this age group the youth. So the energy they have and if a proper understanding takes place, if they properly understand the essence, the principle, the teachings of the mission, if they properly understand and make the knowledge as the basis of their life, the true knowledge, the true knowledge of this omnipresent God, 
and feeling the presence all the time. So, the youth then live their life with the help of this illumination, with the help of this candle which is lit. Like you just heard the song about the candle and its, its light. So similarly, the youth everywhere, globally, they realize the importance of this aspect and they want to strengthen it each, each passing day. They have started feeling the responsibility which has fallen on their shoulders to strengthen the mission, to spread the mission, the universal message to reach universally the message of oneness, the message of brotherhood, the message of love, the message of tolerance, the message of non-violence. So this message has to reach every nook and corner of this world. So much has been said about the walls and the bridges, the importance of bridges and the harmfulness created by the walls, the effect the walls are giving, harming the mankind, the barriers, the man-made barriers by which we are divided, which we have made by which we have made distances from each other and we are a broken lot. And so many barriers which have been created by man's ignorance or man's ego or man's narrow-mindedness or man's attitude of upmanship. So, these have been reasons for the walls to be built in the first place. So, the youth in Calgary, when the conference was held in first week of July, and they gave this slogan, that the world without walls. And today also, we heard so many words of wisdom based on this very theme, that walls are playing havoc. What the efforts have to be, the efforts are to be to pull down the walls and build bridges and establishing peace, establishing brotherhood, coming closer to each other, bringing others nearer to yourself, irrespective of one's diet, dress, nationality and cultures. So saints, this message of oneness, of pulling down the walls and building bridges, harmony, peaceful coexistence. This is to benefit whole of mankind, not a class of people or a class of society. It is for the betterment of whole of mankind. The mankind which is more and more moving towards violent ways, so much violence which we are which we are witnessing or we are seeing and so much innocent blood is being shed so here we heard the youth 
stressing upon non-violence in on peace or in peaceful coexistence of tolerance why the road rages are taking place why is tiniest of thing becomes a reason like a particle of sand taking a form of a majestic mountain because we have become so intolerant because we are not guided by knowledge and wisdom so that's why the scenario which we are seeing all around is giving us pain it is proving painful also we today the stress was made on truth youth guided by the truth the truthful living and the knowledge which we are mentioning we are mentioning it as true knowledge based on the truth and the knowledge of the truth which is ultimate truth which is all pervading truth so if the youth they also base their life on this truth and they start strengthening the truthfulness as few times i mentioned then sometimes we have pain in our tooth and the we have a toothache and often the dentist says there is a decay there is a tooth decay and what we are seeing all around is truth decay that truth is decaying in our lives that we are not adapting truth we are not making it a basis of our life and we are more basing our lives on falsehood and whenever man falls he falls due to falsehood not due to truth truth strengthens our beliefs truth strengthens our lives and makes us a true human being so saints truth the youth as today they may stress on it that yes we have to be guided by the truth darkness shouldn't guide us we shouldn't drop in darkness darkness is in the form of ignorance and often in darkness we are bewildered and we go astray so the light of truth the candle the lit candle may always illumine our pathway the path of this life which we are living so saints it indeed a reason for experiencing this happiness the bliss by being part of this english medium samagam and also giving happiness that we are seeing so much talent in our mission now in the form of youth although india was ruled by britishers for a pretty long time and we saw that com 
when compared to various countries in the various regions. English had been used in India because of the British rule. But in present times, we have seen so much expansion in the use of English language and the youth are learning English. The institutions which have cropped up and, and the accent which are being used, which were we used to see just confined to the students going to convent schools. But today we are seeing English being spoken so fluently and that's why it is more encouraging that the youth, the children, they participate in such in such sangats, in samagams, to spread the message of the mission to other youth. Because the youth know better about the beliefs and feelings of the youth. They are mostly on the same wavelength. So they can be more effective to spread the message of the mission. And that is being seen when we, are, when we see that the youth taking out time to mention about the mission, the activities of the mission, and the use of the media and the social networks are so much being used by today's youth globally. But the youth of the mission have also to be careful about the use of these modes. The social networks, it is also a great, great responsibility which the youth have to be very careful of. Because sometimes it has been noticed that like other youth in the society, our youth also fall prey to certain things and they also start using the social network in network accordingly, not showing sign or signs of wisdom. So, just a thought came today when we are talking about youth and youth being guided by the truth and the youth adapting the principles of the mission. So, this is also one of the aspects which we have to be very care of, careful of. So, without taking much of your time, once again, I express my happiness, pleasure to be a part of this Samagam today here. And today, we got to see the performance of youth prominently belonging to Delhi or NCR. And when we think of nationally, and internationally, we can just see that so much can be done by the youth and this message can be so effectively be given to other people. So I congratulate all the participants in whatever form they participated and took part and it was a well-organized event and as I said in the beginning that giving the feel of an event which takes place globally, the NIS and I wish that such events take place occasionally so that more and more youth get benefit and be more motivated to work for the mission, to work for the mankind, 
to work for the humanity. So with these words, I take your leave. Sasangaji, Dhanakram.